All righty, it's time for today's Hot Topics. Let's do it. Hot <laughs> Topics. It is the most talked about story right now. Oh my the gosh. Notre Dame fire. You see the spire of the iconic uh, Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris falls after being engulfed in flames. French officials say both towers are safe. The spire atop the landmark was leaning to one side before it collapsed. Unknown what caused the fire. Cathedral has been surrounded by scaffolding and was under construction. Cathedral dates back almost 1,000 years. It's one of Paris' most popular attractions. Oh, this was it's just heartbreaking. So, yeah, but now, thankfully, I mean, I've seen some photos um, inside, and it's a lot less damaged than it appears. I mean, some sections, obviously, looks, but I've seen some photos inside now that the fire is finally out, and it's just like... I mean, it looks catastrophic this. from this angle. It does. When, yeah, you saw this video, it was like, there's going to be nothing left, but there's yeah. so much left, thank goodness, because, yeah, this was just heartbreaking to see. So you get to visit uh, last October? I did, what, yeah, when October? we went last fall, Claire and I and my mom, we went, and, yeah, it was just so breathtaking to see it and to think this has been here for like you said a thousand years mm -hmm. and that they were able to build such a magnificent structure then it's just yeah to see a damage like that is so sad i feel like everybody i mean my feed yesterday on instagram everybody was posting photos of i went in this year i went in this year and you know and it's just it's so iconic and they it's so uh, were important. doing like a six million dollar renovation yeah. and they think that may be where the fire started. Can you imagine being the contractor no. who probably had to hire his brother-in-law and this guy, Darn you know, it, it's Kyle? your wife's husband and he's a smoker and he probably It's just, your wife's husband? Yeah, you know what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's other husband needs a job. You know what I meant. Unbelievable. Because the French can't go without a cigarette. Or a second husband. I mean, well, that is true. I know. What were we saying today about the French? <laughs> we were talking even, about what we if that's all it was. One of the workers tossed a cigarette and Lee no, said, no. oh, they smoke. I said, yes, even as children. So, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Daddy. For the story. Oh, I For the midnight story. That is offensive. Daddy. That Why? Is. Why is it that was so offensive? <laughs> the accent is just what do you, What do you painful. mean? It is not offensive. <laughs> how, do you, how dare you say? You Americans. Oh. <laughs> okay. You know the French, by the way. And I'm not suggesting, I don't know I'm what little... happened. I just know that thing went up pretty quick. Yeah. And you're sitting around going, where's the fire department? They were there. Of... Well, it didn't look like they were there. Now, I'm not suggesting they drop water on it from a plane like the president did because it would have knocked the entire structure down. That was that But was it dark. seemed like, won't well, you have protocols? If, you, if we were to do some reconstruction around one of our pieces of antiquity which compared to that is nothing right i think we'd have a lot of safety protocols in place to make sure they didn't just go up the french surrender to that fire pretty quick i don't think you know what you're talking about i'm just suggesting that that thing should have been right suggest you have no idea what you're talking well, about well i know history and these are the same people that when they knew the germans were amping up to come rolling through you know what they did they dug in world war ii dug trenches between the french and german border they spent millions to set up, going, oh, oh, we have you now. Try to come across. And you know what the Germans did? Went through <laughs> Poland, took a left. Went around them. So they go, uh oh, they are behind us. Yeah. That's what happened. That's, what's, that's good. That'll help them heal from this. Is I'm criticize upset. their this history. Done, that's Notre good. Dame is a gift to the world. I know. Well, take care of it. They tried. Mm. They're trying. You don't. Fine. What what do you have to back up your idea right now that they didn't try to save it, that they didn't try to put out the fire? Excuse I'll, us, I'll, Jesse. Don't let us you. interrupt yeah. your phone call. I don't. I help not let Elmer smoke. And two. You don't know if anyone was smoking. I bet his name is Elmer, you and he don't. was smoking. <gasps> and and where they should have had a fire extinguisher everywhere. They. I. Oh my gosh. You, you don't, don't know. know. What you're talking. You don't know. Don't, we don't know what happened. Right. We're speculating. Let me just say one thing to you, sir. Okay. Chester Arthur. Okay. Don't climb up on a high horse till you're a hundred percent sure. And you are not a hundred percent sure. No, I'm speculating. Right. I didn't say I'm 100% sure. You said they just surrendered to that fire. Well, you don't seemed, know that. It sure seemed pretty quick. I don't know. I mean, I know there's a lot of old wood laying around. I get it. But it's a tinderbox. <sighs> what, are they going to be offended? They got other issues to deal with. Besides worrying about what I'm saying. Actress Selma Hayek's husband, French billionaire. Here we go again. Francois Henri Pinot. 
is offering $100 million to rebuild Notre Dame. How I, about that? You just now read that for the first time. According to Forbes, <laughs> Benal and his family are worth an estimated $35 billion. Boy, Selma Hayek, not only does she look good, she lucked out. <laughs> Uh, anyway, she said this on an Instagram account that she was in deep shock and sadness over the tragedy. Penal and Hayek tied the knot less than a mile from the cathedral back in 2009. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yeah, this is awesome. I mean, a hundred million, that should do it. <laughs> I mean, wow. I, this is yeah, awesome. I don't know how you'd insure a place like that because it's priceless. It is priceless, yeah. How would you even, I don't know. Churchill's track announcer Travis Stone tweeted about a plane issue he experienced early this morning. Uh-oh, he wrote, we were just deplaned in Louisville because a critter is loose somewhere on the plane. What? He said exterminators are not at the ready for situations like this. Uh, lots of comments including a mongoose on the loose or snake Snakes on a plane. on a blank and plane. Yes, love it. That Samuel is, Jackson a critter is loose. So I was thinking it would be someone's pet. No, it must be. It's a groundhog on there, yeah. burrowing its way through. Mm. That's weird. That's weird. Okay. Anyway, those are today's hot topics. All right, coming up, it's day two of Bourbon Week. Yes, today's stop takes us to Barrel House Distilling Company here in Lexington. We're going to take you there coming up next. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.